Hello, 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 everyone. How, are, how is everyone doing? Okay. Today, we're going to be making a butter pecan cheesecake. Okay. We're going to do the crust. You're going to need graham crackers. Okay. I'm going to crush these graham crackers up till they become crumbs. I might put them in my, my chopper and let it chop it on up for me until it become crumbs. I think that's what I'm going to do. You're going to need a fourth of, what is this here? A half a cup of sugar to go into this here. Okay? You're going to need a third cup of butter. All right? And... That's going to go into there, okay? So first thing we're going to do, we're going to make the crust, okay? And I'm gonna use the chopper, and I'm gonna go ahead on, and I'm gonna, oh, and we're going to need pieces of pecans, okay? If you don't want pecans, use anything else. Use any other kind of nuts you want, but this is called a butter pecan cheesecake, okay? And I already have this here. This is in pieces, okay, in pieces, all right? And you're going to need foil paper, okay? So I'm going to show you how everything is going to go. Let me get these here uh, graham crackers already into crumbs. As you can see, this is how I'm doing my graham crackers. Okay, so I can make sure I get them good and chopped up, all right? Okay, so now we're ready to mix. We need one and a half cup of crumbs, but I went to one and three fourths, okay? But it's one and a half cups of uh, graham cracker crumbs. You need one third cup of butter, all right? One third cup of butter. You need, you need a third cup of sugar. That's going in there, all right? And I'm gonna mix this here on up right here. I'm gonna go ahead on and mix this here on up. But this is how this is going to go, okay? Mix this here on up now, because this is our crust. Okay, so then we're going to take and we're going to do a half a cup of pecans. Okay, the pecans that's finely chopped. Okay, that's going in this crust. Okay, because this is the crust. So this is going just like this here. We're going to mix this here on up in here. Just like this. All right, so I have this like this, okay? So then what we're gonna do, you're gonna get you some Pam, all right? You're gonna spray your pan. So spray your pan with some Pam, okay? Then you're gonna place that here, all right? Then you're gonna put some of this in here. All right, that's gonna go in there. Okay, so then we get it on like this here. Okay, we put it all around right here like this here. Make sure it's around right here. Now you can make this crust the thickest way that you want to make it because it's up to you the way you wanna do it. Okay, I love crust. I'm gonna tell you just like that. I love me some crust, so. Okay, and then we're gonna take, we're gonna do it like this. Press it on, just like this here. Press it down, make sure it's even. Okay, and then it's gonna go up an inch up on the sides, okay? So we're gonna have to press this here up an inch on the side. I gotta leave enough to go on top. Okay. 
So this is going to be pressed down like this. Let me make sure I got it even enough. So then I got to work myself my way up. Okay, so now we're going up with it, pressing it up, bring it up, press it on up, because it's going to come up about an inch. Oh, Lord, making sure I keep enough there. Bring it up about an inch, making sure you keep the crumbs down in there. So bring it up about an inch, an inch up. This is when your talent comes in. I'm telling you, child, it takes talent to do things. But hey, remember, the holidays are coming up. So this is why, too, I want to show you all this here. Because the holidays are coming up. You're going to want something different for the family. Okay? You're going to want something totally different that you've never done before. And this is so easy to do. Okay, bring it up about an inch. This is so easy to do. And then, you know, you want to show off your talent to everybody when they come over. Shoot, make this here two days before and have it sitting in the refrigerator. You know, this is something that you can get out of your way. This will be something already out of the way. Mash these here down. Okay, mash all this here down. This is something new for you to do. Bring it up about an inch. Keep it up for about an inch. Press it. So it can stay up there. Press it. Because you want it to stay up. Okay? You want to keep it up. So Press it on up, bring it up about an inch. Keep it so well when you put everything in now, it's there and it's going to stay. All right, that looks good. Yes, indeedy. And if you like, if you wanna put a little bit more twist on now, you can put you about half a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, a little bit, a half, and, and a fourth of all spice. You can put that in there. Some people are allergic to nutmeg. I know it's one young lady uh, at the shop. She's allergic to nutmeg and things. All right. So I have that in there already. So then what you do, you get your foil paper. All right, because we're already going to fix the Put this here together. You get your foil paper. Your foil paper is gonna have to go up around your foil paper. Put this down over here. Ooh, got too much working with it. Okay, your foil paper is gonna have to go up around here, just like this. Okay, so put your foil paper. Make sure it's up and around here, just like this here because this is going to have to sit in some hot water, okay? While this is baking in the oven. So we just got to make sure we get all this here. Go ahead on, finish this on up now. Go ahead on, do this here now. All right, be right back. Okay, just finished making the crust. Okay, so we did the crust. So now it's time to uh, do the cheese. The, the topping, the cheesecake topping. So what we're going to do, we're going to need three Philadelphia cheese. Okay, three of the cream cheese. We're going to need three of them. Okay, so you're going to get three of these. Okay, three of these. Okay, so that's going in. Okay, so we have three of the eight ounce Philadelphia cheese. Okay, 
three of them. Philadelphia cream cheese. We have three of those. We have one and a half cup of sugar. Okay, so this is going to go in here. And then we're going to... All right, so... We're going to mix this up. And your Philadelphia cheese have to be at room temperature. Your sour cream have to be at room temperature. Your three eggs have to be at room temperature because we're gonna need three eggs for this. So you mix this in until this here is really mixed up really good. Okay, so that's mixed up. All right, so we have that like that. Okay, so then, Oh, I'm fixing rice. So then after we do that, then we take the sour cream and we add two cups of sour cream. Oh, this here equals up to two cups. Okay, so that's one. That's one cup there. A bit more. Okay, two cups right here. Okay, and then we're going to mix this here together. Two cups sour cream. Okay, so let that go in there. While you mixing this here up and everything, set your oven to 325. Okay, your oven has to be set to 325. Okay, so we're going to mix this here up here. Okay, so I have that mixed up. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add our eggs. We're gonna add the vanilla extract, and this is butter flavored extract. This is butter extract, natural flavor. Okay, you're gonna have that too. All right, let me get my measuring spoon. Okay, we're going to use one, teaspoon of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, okay, then we're going to use a half a teaspoon, where is it, a half a teaspoon of the butter flavor. Show me a whole lot of stuff when uh, when you cook it. You'll find out that your 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 uh, spice rack, honey, is gonna get big. So make room for a spice rack so you can have it sitting somewhere. If you have a walk-in pantry, that's the best thing to have. Okay, we only need a half a teaspoon of the butter flavor extract. Okay, and then I'm gonna mix that on up together. Let me put this here away. Okay, I'm gonna mix this here on up in here, just like this. Okay, you know, this is a doozy of a mixture, I'm telling y'all. I really enjoy this in mixture. I don't care what nobody say. I love this mixer, and I like the way it comes loose. I, th you know, these are one of like one of these old-fashioned kind of mixers, because all you gotta do is push this little part right here, push it in, and these come off. I said, okay, I like this. I like this a lot. So we're gonna do one egg at a time. One egg at a time, all right? We're gonna mix one egg in at a time. Okay, the other egg. Room temperature on your eggs. 
So if anything, set your stuff out if you're gonna go to work. Uh, you know you're gonna fix it that morning. Fix it that morning so you can have that evening because this is gonna have to, after you pull it out the oven, it's going to have to stay in the refrigerator overnight so it can form, okay? So this probably won't get eaten until tomorrow, but I'll show it to y'all in the morning how it turns out. Okay, one more egg. <sighs> you know, I take these eggshells right here and put them on my roses. Uh, either I put it on my fruit tree. Or either I crush them all up and just throw them, throw them on Form, form in my bed, my flower bed. Eggshells is good for your plants. Okay. All right, got that done. Now, let me let me show y'all how this will do. Watch this. It just do that, do that. You see that? And it goes back down. And that's all you do. And the thing comes right off. I'm telling y'all something. The things they have out here in this world. These are one of these old-fashioned ones. I think it says Sunbeam. Sunbeam. Master Mix. Mix Master. You know, like I told y'all, I paid $3 for it. Okay, now we're going to need a cup of pecans. I say pecans, people say pecans. I'm from the country, so I say pecan, because I go pick pecans. I'm used to saying pecan. They say pecan, I say, okay, pecan. All right, so this is one cup of pecan. This is uh, chopped pecans, because if you get it and, you, and you, get, you can't find it really, really small like this, just like this, okay? If you can't find it that small, Put it in your put it in your chopper and chop it up. And then you're gonna stir it sit in just like this. You're gonna stir it in just like this here. Okay? Stir it in now, just like this. It's gonna get stirred up. Alright. So you're gonna stir that up in now. So you can get it all mixed up in now. Then you're gonna take it. And we're gonna put it in the spring pan, okay? We're gonna put it in now. Let me get it over here. Okay, so this is going to go in here. All right, just like this, okay? Put it in here, just like this. It should, all of it should fit in here. Because we made enough for all of this. This is a nine inch. So, and it's going to go over there. I don't think it's supposed to be right there because it's not. Okay, I, I want to lick this bow. So I can see what this is. So I can see what this is. Right here. It's tasting like if I have enough or whatever in there. Okay. See, it fits. That's how it's supposed to fit. Just like that. Mm. Mm, okay. That's good. Mm -hmm. So then you just do it like this. Okay? Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Now, you're going to have your pan. You're going to fill it with an inch of hot water. All right? This is the reason why you put the foil up around here. But make sure when you fold it that no water can go in the inside of here. Okay? Now, this is what you're going to do. You're going to take the rest of the crumbs just like this. And you're going to sprinkle it on top. Okay? What you have left over, sprinkle it on top. Okay? That's why you leave a little bit so when you sprinkle it, it's going on top of there. Okay? 
So this is going to be sprinkled on top, just like this. Don't forget your oven set on 325. I already have your oven already on because we're going to do this here. Now this is going to go in this pan, which I already have some hot water in there. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. I already have the water in there already and everything. So this right here, now you're going to take this do like this. Oh, Jesus. Set it right here. An inch of water. Okay, just an inch of water in there. Make sure your foil is up like this here. If you have to go back in the oven and add you some more foil because this is going to stay in the oven for 70 to 80 minutes. Okay, that's how long it's going to be in there. From 70 to 80 minutes. You got to touch it to see if it the form at all. You're going to touch it on top to see if it's form at all, if it's kind of a little thick. Okay? It's a, if it's a little firm. Okay? You put your hands on top of that and check it. Okay? Now I'm going to put this here in the oven. I'm going to set my oven for 70 minutes and then if I see it need to go a little more, I'm going to set it for 10 more. Okay? I'll be back to show you what it looks like. So everyone, the butter pecan cheesecake sit overnight okay so i kept the foil on there i didn't take it off i just left it all on now okay so i'm gonna take this up like this i'm gonna put it on here just like this okay then i'm gonna take this loose oh loud just like this lift it up and look what we have Look at that. It's there. I ain't never made one in a pan, like, you know, so-so. But this is it. And I'm going to cut it now. So I want to see what it's going to turn out to be. So I'm going to go ahead on and I'm going to cut it. Let me find my knife here. Where's my pie knife? Let me find my pie knife. Okay, so this is my pie knife. Let me see here. Give me a good cut up in here. Make sure I go all the way down now. Ugh. I don't want to move it too much. Got to go all the way down there where the crust at. Oh, that's the crust. Oh, so I'm just hitting the pan. Come on out of there now. I'm not no good cutter for nothing. I ain't even gonna lie. Mmm. Mmm. That was gone. That mess tastes good. Hmm. That mess tastes real good. Mm-hmm. Let me give me a fork. Hmm. That mess tastes real good. Mm. 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 It's good. It's really, really, really good. Mmm, mmm. I like this. Mmm, mmm. 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 Can't stop tasting. 
It's just good. Mm. So, this is how it turned out. Shoot, this light. I'm telling you, this is the most brightest light in the world for backup, for videoing. Okay, this is it. You see the pecans all up in here. Pecans is all in the crust. Let me tell y'all something. This butter pecan cheesecake is perfect. I'm not lying to you. It's perfect. This is something you need to make for the holidays. Set it on the table. They be shocked. Now, you got to put this back in the refrigerator. It ain't something that uh, you don't want to. You know what cheesecake do. You don't. You don't have cheesecake and everything before. You know what it's going to do. Put it, put it, put it, put it back in the icebox at night. Make it two days before so you can have it. And have it cute set up on the thing. And, and make this here one of your uh, holiday uh, pies. You know, make 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 it like that. Because I'm telling you, it'll be a hit. Everyone will love it. Okay? And all I want y'all to do, have a beautiful day. Give someone a big hug. Tell someone you love them. You never know when that time's going to come or, or something's going to happen. But you stay lifted up in prayer. And, and 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 you believe and you stay positive and negativity get negativity and put it back here you know it's like my brother said on this video how one person here one person here and, and the other person is saying what they're gonna say back there but you go forward you keep God uh uh, some people say Jehovah. Some people say the Most High. Uh, I heard a lot of people say Allah. You know, whoever you pray to, whoever you worship, keep worshiping them. Because we're going through a lot out here in the world and we're being tested. We have to stay positive because all we have is the person who is watching over us. And we have family. We need to try to keep our family together. Things like this. Yeah, I had a terrible scare yesterday. Uh, my brother called me on the phone. First, my mom called me to tell me that my brother uh, cancel levels uh, went up. And uh, I was worried about that. And uh, then he called me. You know, I already had a uh, Shedded tears about that, but uh, I'm gonna stay hopeful, I'm gonna pray, and uh, his level was 0 0.7, that was in April. Now his levels are 4.9. And uh, I started on this journey with these videos and everything because of my brother. And I said to myself, well, YouTube pay money. So I'm going to do YouTubes. I never want my brother to ever have to suffer him or his wife 
And I was thinking, well, if this cast or anything come back that I'll be able to help. But I'm still going to stay positive because God has him. And uh, he was telling me how he was going to do some research and everything. And kind of find out, which I'm hoping, I'm praying to God that the shingle shot that he took, I think it was this month, he took a shingle shot. He said it made him sick. But he was saying that the shingle shot you're not supposed to take, uh, you're not supposed to take a shingle shot if you're taking cancer medicine. <laughs> I'm praying, and I want everyone else to keep him in your prayers. Okay, because he is, I haven't lost anyone really, really, really close to me. And I'm, and I'm not going to think that way. My grandmother, I lost her. I lost my grandpa. Two of my uncles. And everything had to do with cancer. You know, all this had to do with cancer. I guess we got cancer in our family because it's, it's a big thing in my family. So, I'm going to stay positive. I'm going to think positive. I'm going to be positive. Keep my family in your prayers. Keep my brother Leo. His name Leo. So, I'm asking all prayer warriors out there. Keep my brother Leo in your prayers. You know, I have a cousin, she say, tell him to eat alligator soup. Uh, uh, eat alligator, it helps cancer. But um, prostate cancer is no joke. Cancer is no joke, period. So, uh, give someone a big hug. Tell people in your family you love them, even if they're the worstest people in the world. And you know we have them. You know we have them out here in, in this family. <laughs> but who cares? We still got to love them. I'd rather my family them do me wrong than the people in the street doing me wrong. So give someone a big hug. Tell them you love them. Bon appetit, baby. <laughs>